Hey, what up, what up? It's Trish React, son. We about to react to Homeless Dash wants to end his own life emotional ending. Hey, y'all liked it the last video, in our last video before this, so you might as well just, hey, just keep on reacting to uh, Life Lesson with Louise. He been going dumb, but I'm trying to see the end of that last video, son. But yeah, I ain't about to waste y'all time, you hear me? Let's get into this video. I'm gonna say kill me, man. Hey, bro, don't end your life, though. To be honest, be real with you, don't end your life. Don't ever try to end your life because you still got people on this world that want to help you and want to be with you and still love you. You're not alone, you hear me? <laughs> Three years early, you going back back. Hey, Dad, look at this. I can run in no hands. Hey, look at you go. Now, be careful for the cars. I don't want you running into any of those. I will. Are you off to work? No. Nah. No, nah, come give me a hug. Goodbye. Why are you so dressed up? Well, today's a big day for you, Dad. For all of us, really. I made partner at the law firm. What? That <laughs> means we are not going to have to worry about money ever again. Oh. That's yeah, crazy. Pardon. He went from, look at this, three years ago. Now he completely homeless and lost everything. And that's crazy. I mean, a lot to you, does it? Well, I, mean, I wouldn't worry about it right now. You'll understand one day when your dad sends you off to a nice college. Are you coming to my baseball game tonight? It's the playoffs. Of course I am. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I mean, you're the whole reason I do what I do. I mean, my life would be empty without you and your mom. You're the only reason I work as hard as I do. Go on and get out of here. I will pick you up tonight. You're ready for your game. All right. See you. Love you, Dad. Can't wait. Yeah, me too. Oh, happy. Mm -hmm. Um, this is our ad, son. Hey, this is our ad, bro. How y'all doing today, son? You mind? If you having a good day, man, just, you hear me? Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Sub, you hear me? Get them subs going. I'm at, like, what? I think I'm about to be at 140. I don't. Hey, just keep subscribing for me, you hear me? I'm at 138. Let's get that bitch to 140. It was in that exact moment I knew my life would never be the same again. My son was killed that day by a drunk driver. 10 in the morning, some young punk teenagers who were just coming home partying all night ended my son's life. I don't know if you've ever lost a loved one before, but I cannot even begin to explain what that did to me. I have never fully recovered from that day. I'm not sure if I ever will. The stress caused me to lose my job. My wife and I were so torn that she ended up filing for a divorce. I lost hope and purpose. And here I am, three years later. my food. Hey, get your hands off my dog, you disgusting hey, peasant. Sorry. I said, get your hands off my dog. I want your feeds infested skin touching him. Come on, Louise. Why, why you, you just turned gay and you was just happy. Now you want, now you being racist. Now you being, not racist, you discriminate. Not, no, not discriminate. You talking down on people? Come on, Louise. You better than that, son. Not like I was trying to steal him. He was eating my food. <laughs> Your food. Oh, because I'm so sure that you bought your food. God, why don't you go out and get a job instead of being a bum and begging people for money? <clears throat> Dang. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that bother you? Is it because you know it's true? You know, why don't you get in like the rest of society and go out and get a job? Then maybe you'll make some money. And maybe one day you can get a wife and start a family like the rest of us. 
God, you're pathetic. Come on, helmet. Let's get out of here. I had a family, you jerk! Oh yeah, you should never deal with people. You were saying don't ever deal with people. Cause you won't, would not want nobody Ready? to judge you. Yep. Dang it, Courtney, you did it wrong again. Just get the steps right. Dance makes no sense. It's too boring. It's the same dance that every other person does. Mm. You're right. We need to do something different. Something that. Oh my god, her acting is trash. Let me stop. Separate us from the rest of the people out there. But what? Get I on. have seen these YouTube videos Get of people dancing again. with homeless people, and it's gone mega viral. Really? Nigga, what? I ain't never been on TikTok, and I said I just saw homeless people just dancing with a home. They ain't, no, that might they, that must not be my for you page. Uh, okay, so we just need to find a homeless person. Okay. Over there. Bingo. Bingo. Um, excuse me, sir. Are you awake? Oh, it smells like a wet dog and a burnt tire. Courtney, stop. You have to think of the views we'll get from this. We'll be like so famous. Excuse me, nigga, for views. Um, hello? Who just brings the ring like outside? That's what I want to know. Well, I didn't think it out there before. She just brings the ring like everywhere she goes just to record TikTok. That better be portable. What's wrong? What do you want? Well, sir, today's your lucky day. You're chosen to be in a TikTok video with me and my friend Brittany. Mm -hmm. What the heck reason is that? No, I don't want to be filmed. No, go, go away. Leave me alone. Um, sir, I don't think you understand. We have the power to make you famous. It's great exposure for you. Do I look like I need exposure? I'm homeless. But I just want to be left alone. This is humiliating. I don't get it. If you're homeless, why don't you just buy a house? Yeah, duh. Courtney, why don't you just go- Bro, these girls are some of the most stupidest people in the world. If you homeless, why just don't buy a house? Nigga, you think you can go buy a house if you just have all his stuff right there? You idiot. I'm not, you about to get back. Whoever you- Ooh, ooh I hate your character. That's the camera. Okay. And then you record without Ready? the nigga consent. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, me and Brittany are here in LA to do TikTok dances to try to cheer up homeless people. I mean, look how sad this guy is. Nigga, now, we know that a lot of people nigga, like to Nigga, I obviously don't want to be filmed, son. I'm about to smack you, dude. Then I'm going to take your bra, stupid. Homeless people by giving them weed and alcohol. But we know what they're really missing in their life is a little bit of dancing. You ready, Courtney? Yep. I would have broke that phone. I said turn that off. What the hell is even wrong with you guys? I said leave me alone. Jesus, you're such a jerk. Yeah, you need to like Nigga, you was all up in this nigga space. Even though he he outside and shit, like he sleeping on the ground, but you all up in this nigga bubble space. You might have COVID. COVID. Like what are you doing, son? Like he said and he said he ain't trying to be recorded. Leave it at that, son. With that attitude, you're never gonna find a wife. I had a wife. And a son. And let me guess, they left you because you have bad attitude? Come on, Brittany, nope. let's get out of here. This guy obviously has anger issues. Not about to say anything. Let's go. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Without his family, without his career, not feeling like he belonged to anything or body, Brian had no sense of purpose in his life. He lost the most important thing a person can have, hope. Brian didn't see the point to being alive any longer and convinced himself that it's time to say goodbye. He just wanted to numb the pain of losing his family. That's great news. Absolutely. We can pay him 300 for the footage and we'll credit him on the site, but we need the footage by the end of the day. Also, I'm going on vacation with my family next week. It's my son's birthday and I'd really like to not be disturbed. Okay, let me call you back. Hey. This nigga chest is hairy as hell, son. Do you know how to shave? You okay, sir? I saw your sign. Maybe I can help you out. Sorry it's not much, but maybe you can 
Get some food or something. You look like I need your money. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. Money doesn't fix everything. Is there maybe something else I can do to help you? What makes you think I want your help? <sighs> hey, man, like the cigar, man. Let the cigar, man. Come on, bro. I'm trying to see you back, baby. I'm trying to get back to the video, man. I'm no psychologist, but if that's not a clear sign for help, I don't know what it is. You couldn't even begin to understand my world. You're right. I don't know what you're going through, but if we're talking hard times, I've been there myself. Try me. I wish I did a car crash. She was pregnant with your son. I didn't think I'd survive it. I didn't know it was possible to hurt so much. I remember waking up every morning and forcing myself to think just one reason why I should stay alive. I just wanted to end it all. What reason was that? It's what my wife and son always wanted for me. It's strange, in a weird way, I felt like God was speaking to me. He was trying to tell me that I still had purpose in this life. <laughs> what purpose? You're not alone. Yo, tell, but it's I've been in your shoes, like, I promise you. found meaning in my life by helping people. Maybe you'd like to do the same? Would you be willing to go to a meeting with me? What kind of meeting? Just a meeting for people like you and me. People who've lost a family member. How did you know that I lost a family? You can see it in your eyes. I see myself when I look at suicidal boy that just lost his father in a house fire. He could really use a friend right now. And who knows? He might just save his life. Why are you doing this? Most people who pass me by, they judge me, look down on me. The only time I look down on someone when I'm lifting them up. Yeah, hey, when I'm lifting them up. Yeah, man. Hey, but yeah, always, man, niggas need to, niggas need to humble themselves. Females and niggas, man. Like, just because somebody don't have no money, no bread on them, or uh, they just lost faith, or they, they not happy in that, man. Don't even look down on them talking about you a broke boy. You ain't never gonna have nothing. Like, man, humble yourself, man, because you don't even have that much as you. You talking like you got that much, but you don't. I'll be willing to help out our fellow man. And stop judging people. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Maybe you forgot all your stuff. What you doing? Just playing if I shower first. <laughs> I think that's probably a good idea. The only time you should be looking down on another person is when you're lifting them up. I hope today's message really resonates with you guys. You don't understand that a lot of us are walking around with our own individual battles that we're dealing with on the inside. And the last thing you need to do is be a person who puts other people down or burdens them or just dismisses their feelings altogether. Guys, we're all dealing with our own battles inside. So let's lift each other up instead of holding each other down. Right. Last thing, guys, I want to say a big thank you from... Yes, and make sure you like, subscribe the video, man. Don't ever don't ever even look down on nobody. Don't ever talk down on nobody, man. You always, man, stay humble, you hear me? You already know.